evening, everyone. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the tour of Watopia Stage One. Supposedly, Spanish and Dash, however, was stood on very good track, so be interested to see how it is. I have no idea what's going on. Technical issues again. You hear me? Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> Are we working now? It's not working, is it? XP, 30 XP then, flashed up. Sorry everyone, it's technical issue Monday. We got there in the end. Let's start again, shall we? Good evening everyone, it's Monday the 6th of March. Welcome to the Tour of Utopia Route 1. Splash and dash. <laughs> We're back on here. This is the first Tour of Utopia 2023. There was over a hundred runners signed up. When I was streaming at lunchtime, everything else was going wrong. The microphone was fine. Now tonight, the microphone's having a go. So here we go then. That's a nice colour. I like this outfit, very stripy. <laughs> Let's try again. Good evening, Heather. Good evening, Zero to Hero. Hello, Amy. Thank you for joining me on the Swift Run channel. We got there in the end. So here we are. I'm running a bit earlier tonight as I've been detailed off for dad taxi duties at 6 p.m. tonight. So I thought let's jump on at 5 p.m. and do the first Tour of Utopia event 2023. There's 142 runners here today. I was gonna say, keep your eye on the XP. Let's see what we get tonight. I've already seen a plus 30. Okay. 
let's have a look then. Let's have a look. Zero's Hero, now you can hear me, asks how my weekend was. Well, on the weekend, I did a 32K or a 20 mile run on Sunday morning as my long run. Really enjoyed that one. Anyone else get up to anything good on the weekend? I know Tina did a long run on the weekend as well. She's having a rest day today. Listening to the body, feeling a bit tired. So recharging her body battery ready for tomorrow. Amy says, hello Clive. Zero to Hero says, hi Clive. My music is louder than voice. Just me, <laughs> yes, we've got that one now. I don't know what happened. For some reason, my laptop decided to select the built-in laptop and deselect the microphone. First ever time it's done that since I've had the microphone. It's technical issue Monday. Hero to Zero then said, much better Clive. Yes, working now. Thank you, Heather. Tina says, hello gang. You made it, Clive. I'm still sitting on my bum. <laughs> you deserve it, Tina. You enjoy it. I've just about made it. I'm running jogging bottoms again and a jumper. So I only just made it in time. Just got the stream set up in time. And then the microphone start, stopped working. I have remembered to start the watch. Anyone keeping your eye on that XP up there? Hello everyone. Keep an eye on your XP meter. We all love double XP. <laughs> yes indeed, we do. And that's why we're here. So as I was saying, six o'clock tonight, I've got to take my son to Loon, the, the, my local town, because he's going down to meet his friends, and then I've got to come back and cook the dinner for the kids, because my wife has started going to a club of some sort on a Monday night after work, so she won't be home for a while, so I get stuck with dad duties and dad taxi duties, so I've decided to get the run in early, and then that way it's all done, and I can go back into the house sort things out. One kilometre done here already. I was running with a gang, but due to microphone defects, we dropped back a bit. Currently running at 10 kilometres per hour, heart rate 124. I may have to remove the jumper in a bit. Don't worry, zero to hero. Tour of Utopia is here with us now, double XP for the next three weeks or so. Now we've got all that Swift Academy interval sessions behind us. We can take it a bit easier for the next few weeks. Maybe only do one or two interval sessions a week instead of four or five. Oh no, Tina, I didn't see that. Tina says, oh Clive, you only got 10 XP at one kilometre. <laughs> oh no. I have seen 30s flashing up, what's that all about? John Farrell in the Swift Run Channel Lounge. Good evening, John. John says, hi all. Thanks for dropping in, John. almost about to tick over to level 28 so we will see what will be unlocked next we're gonna have to remove the jumper in a minute body temperatures rising I'm wearing joggers as well. Tina's 
just said 30. I keep missing them, Tina. Tina said it was 30 that time. So what are we what what are we thinking then? Are we getting double XP of our double XP? Or are we just getting what's available in the event? That is the question. John says he was going to do this event, but just got back with the dog. Don't worry, John. What time are we on? 50 minutes, mate, and the next one starts. I think they're on the hour every hour. Fruit socks. You have unlocked the fruit socks. Mmm, juicy. There we go. Level 28. At level 28, you unlock some fruity socks. How fruity. There we go then. Two levels to go. Plus 15 XP. So what was that for? That's for 100 calories. What would that normally be? Normally it'd be five. It has been 10, isn't it? So we just got 15. Heather's asking, John, how is your ankle, buddy? Hopefully it's getting better. says I think you're getting double and a half there you go there's a plus 30 that would normally be 20 sounds about right Tina so it's double and a half so we have been riddled with technical issues today lunchtime run my heart rate monitor went crazy. Said I had a heart rate of 170, 180. <laughs> We'd only just started. The battery almost went flat in my Swift Companion screen. Swift crashed. Then I got placed ahead of the gang and got lost. What a day. And then tonight we come on and the microphone for the first time ever decided to dis deactivate itself. What was that all about? But we're going now, we're doing all right. Oh dear, John says he can still feel his ankle is still hurting and feels it when he pulls his wellies on to take the dog out for a walk. says that dog is a lucky pup. Oh, talking about dogs and pups. Poor old Puggy, Frankie the Pug, is going to the vets on Wednesday. Poor old Frankie. He's got a sneaky claw, which is curled around. Sometimes gives him discomfort during the walk. You keep your eye on their claws, but fortunately, because he knows it gives him discomfort, he will not let me go near him with the dog clippers. He won't let me clip that claw. He doesn't try to bite. He just won't keep his legs still. So Frankie's going to the wets on Wednesday and he might have to be sedated to have his claw clipped and filed back. So that's the news for Wednesday. Frankie goes to the vets. That's my animal news for today. Frankie's going to the vets. Tortoises are still in the fridge. They will come out very shortly when the temperatures and the weather gets a bit better.
very nice tour of Watopia 2023. I can't actually make up my mind what colour that top is. It's doing my, making my eyes look funny. It looks like it's stripy yellow blue with some red in it. But it looks like one of those strange magical pictures that you see at Booth. Can't quite focus on it, or is that just me? <laughs> Same sort of thing, Heather says her dog's not keen on having the claws clipped. She clipped the clip quick once. Poor dog, did it bleed? That's what I'm scared of. I don't think we do clip our dog's claws, but I don't think we take enough off when we do it. And that's why this sneaky claw has managed to bend around, rubs on his pad when he's walking, and it's starting to make him limp after a walk. So it's best to get it cut out or sort out before it gets too long. Our other dad, dog on the other hand, the Labradoodle, Poodle Woodle, doesn't mind. Quite happy he sits there and lets you do it. Tina says, oh bless him. I have to do Ruben's claws a few at a time. With lots of treats and cuddles. We tried. We tried all sorts of things with Frankie. I even got an old towel, cut four holes in it, dangled his legs through. My son held him suspended in the air so he couldn't see what was going on and his legs were hanging at the bottom. And we tried to do it that way. But as soon as you touch his foot, oh, he doesn't have any, he just wiggles, squirms, gets away every time. Just can't get near it. As you say, with Reuben, we've got a Labradoodle, Poodle Woodle, whatever they're called, and um, we clip Millie, our Labrapoodle, ourselves. But a bit like you, Tina, when we clip her, it takes me about a week, because you can only do a bit at a time, and then she gets fed up. So you end up looking with a, halfway through the week, you end up with a punk rocker dog, with long, long legs, long hair on her legs, a fluffy head and a shaved body. Eva says she tries to clip the dog's claws a few at a time, but the dog remembers. Frankie does. As soon as you pick the clippers up, he knows what's coming, and he goes out the room and hides under the table. Good evening, Christoph. Christoph says hello, everyone. <laughs> Eva says when she accidentally clipped the dog's quick. It bled a lot. But it was more the look of betrayal on the dog's face. <laughs> they don't trust you after that. They know what the clippers are, don't they? Sebastian, good evening. Sebastian says, oh, Clive is running. Hello, everyone. Hello, Sebastian, buddy. How are you? Yeah, running a little bit earlier tonight, Sebastian. Dad taxi duties at six. So I thought we'd jump on at five, get this out of the way. First tour of Utopia of 2023, double XP and all that. Thought we'd get on now, get this done, and then go back to family duties. Christoph says he's seen people wear a cap with peanut butter on when doing the paws so the dog can lick and be distracted. Ah, interesting. But we try treats. He'll even, he'll still take the treats, but he still knows what's going on with the foot at the same time. <laughs> Sebastian says, see you later at the community run. I won't be there, Sebastian, unfortunately, because I've got to run the sun to the local town and then come back cook the dinner for the other two. Lucy, the wife, has detailed me off. As Tina says, keep the wife happy. 
happy wife, happy husband. Is that what it is? Easy life? Something like that. Happy wife, easy life. So I've had to uh, get this one in early tonight. Half past six, a little bit late for me tonight. Now we're talking about claws. Tina says she also has to do the cat's claws. She lives indoors. That's another thing altogether. <laughs> now you've said that, it reminded me. A few days ago, because I had the clippers out chasing after the dog, I clipped the beauty to Dragon's claws because his claws is needed trimming back a little bit and he was fine. Bearded Dragon just sits there and lets you do it. The parrot, on the other hand, when you've got to do her claws, you've got to leave her in the cage and try and get her to climb up the side of the cage and just grab one at a time. There's no way that parrot is coming out the cage when you're clipping the claws because you'll lose a finger. <laughs> Emma says she clips her friend's cat's claws. It's a two-person operation. She holds the cat, Heather clips. <laughs> oh. You have to try and cover the heads, don't you, so they can't see it coming. Approaching 3.5 kilometers in to Tour of Utopia, stage one splash and dash. And tonight's topic is can you clip your pet's claws? All pets welcome. Luckily the tortoises don't need their claws clipping. You just got to provide some patio slabs or a stony surface for them to walk on and they am um, they take care of themselves. <clears throat> you also have to feed the tortoise on a, a rough surface, like a stone or a slab. So when they eat, it helps grind their beaks down or their mouths so they don't get long, long beaks. I know that sounds random on a tortoise. It's not the parrot, it's the tortoise. You don't want long mouth parts on a tortoise. It's a, as Tina quite rightly said earlier, Christoph, was it double and a half? So we're getting 30 kilometers. So where we were getting 20, we're getting double XP from being level 21 or above. We are now getting 30 and 15 for the 10. Tina, that is correct. Tina, Christoph, sorry. There you go, that's another 30 XP in the bag. So that's it everyone. For the next three weeks, every time you run on Swift, if you can, try and tie it in with a tour of Utopia and make the most of this extra XP duration of the three weeks that's around four. So this is my first one, hopefully, or we should, I would have thought tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Our Tuesday night session will also be Tour of Utopia tomorrow evening. And then Friday evening will also be another Tour of Utopia evening, because those are the two slots where we were running the Swift Academy runs. Instead of interval sessions, we can now have a nice steady tour of Utopia with time and a half, double and a half XP.
no, Tina's not, nowhere near. Tina says, not like the 672 we got the other night in the Swift Academy. I wonder if you pulled up that workout again and run it on your own. You'd still get that? I wonder. I might have to try that one day. Just go and do one of the Swift Academy runs and see if we get blobs of XP. That's it, just over four kilometers done here for me. Look at that, there's 151 runners now in game running this event. I am currently 102 because I stopped at the beginning because my microphone wasn't working. It's a bit like when you're running outside on an ultra run and your food or something falls out your backpack and you have to run back towards the runners to pick up your crisps, get stampeded on the way back. That has happened to me a couple of times. Going into panic thinking I've lost my salt and vinegar squares. Can't let them go. Yes, Christoph, it was Swift Academy Workout 7. And you can still do them. You can go into the menu screen, and go into Workouts, find Swift Academy 2023, go to Workout 7, and hopefully, if you do it, you will still get the blob of XP. It'll be interesting to find out if we do or not. Don't forget, film my run tomorrow at 11.35 a.m. UK time. Hopefully, we've still got the XP blob um, bug in the system where we've been getting like 200 every kilometer. Join us. If you fancy just joining for a steady run or recovery run, drop your incline, even run it at zero. Walk it out. <laughs> it's worth it for the XP. Unfortunately, I won't be there tomorrow because as every month, one week in every month, I've got to go out with my work on site on Tuesday and Thursday. And this is the week where I can't make it to film my run tomorrow or Thursday. So I will be missing out on the extra XP. think of this Tour of Utopia 2023 kit. It's very stripey, isn't it? I'm going to take a picture, actually. Oh, I missed it now. That was a good angle, wasn't it? And as usual, everybody's running into the shadows. There we go. Quick photograph. Those stripes are definitely making my eyes go funny. We better drop some ride-ons, don't we? Let's do it the cheaty way first, because everybody's up front. Close the app, hit the thumbs. Hopefully everyone got one then. Right on! Ride onto the map for the people that are around me or close proximity. Here we go. That'll do. Always nice to drop some ride ons during the run. We 
are approaching, we are approaching five kilometers already. 1.4 left to go. <laughs> Tina Beard said, it's a migraine kit. <laughs> Don't say that, Tina. That was me last weekend, wasn't it? I went, I went too well. Completely, not this weekend just gone, but the weekend before. Migraine, all of Friday night, all of Saturday, right through to Sunday morning. And then Sunday evening, I got a sore throat. Felt like I'd swallowed a bowling ball with knitting needles sticking out of. And that knocked me off my feet all day Monday. Unfortunately, it then spread through the house. So I don't know who gave it to me, but then the last four days, my youngest daughter's had it. A sore throat and a headache. So it was obviously something going around. Oh no! Heather says, Sebastian, her husband, drove into a pothole yesterday. The car is now making a terrible metallic scraping noise, although the tyre seems fine. What on earth is that then? Something's obviously got damaged inside the wheel, isn't it? Wheel bearing, or maybe something's hanging down off the bottom of the car and scraping on the floor, or scraping on the inside of the wheel. Heather said she's glad it was her husband that drove her into the pothole. Because it's usually her. <laughs> my son a couple of weeks ago and he's learning to drive and he's still he's better now but a couple of weeks ago he was still getting used to the being aware of the length and the width of the vehicle and as he was reversing out of our drive he turned too early and crashed into the corner of the garage I think he learned an important lesson that day be aware of your surroundings This, this sounds terrible, but I must confess, he's learning to drive with an driving instructor, but my wife actually takes him out in her car. And I'm too frightened to get in the car with him. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? It's mainly because I'm an awful passenger. If I go in the car, I like to drive. I don't like being the passenger because I get travel sick and I just feel like I need to brake when they're not. I don't like it. So, so far, my son hasn't driven me anywhere. It just feels a bit strange that little Oliver, my son, is driving around in the car. It doesn't seem right. I need some more time to adapt. running kit sort of reminds me of cheese and onion crisps. Cheesy! So here we go then. Heart rate 129. Heart rate is currently coming from my wrist-based watch as my chest heart rate monitor this morning. Went absolutely nuts and said I had a heart rate 170 when I was walking. So that got thrown out the door. It's not the battery because I only changed it last week and I definitely put a new battery in. So back to the wrist based heart rate for a minute on the watch. Behaving itself today actually at lunchtime and now. So maybe it's sorted itself out. <laughs> Heather said she learned to drive with her dad in a dual control car. It was hard going. You see, I wouldn't mind that so much because at least I knew I could brake if I had to. They grow up so quick, it just seems strange that little Oliver, who was kicking the, foot push, kicking the football around the garden, pushing the plastic toy lawnmower around when I'm cutting the grass, is now driving a car. How scary is that? I can't get my head around it.
600 meters to go to the end of this event. I may even be able to come back later for another Crafty Utopia. But that would really be a crafty run. Maybe once I took my son down to Lou, cooked the dinner for the other two. My wife comes home from her fitness club around sort of nine o'clock, I think. So I may be able to squeeze in another tour of Utopia double XP run before she comes home. But we'll have to see. Heather says, I'm getting old. I'll tell you what, my eyesight knows I'm getting old. Especially over the last couple of years. I used to have 2020 vision. Now I have to wear my four pound eBay reading glasses, which help a lot. I can actually see again. Yes, Tina, Tina says, yes, the years fly by, they certainly do. How long have we got then? Okay, one lap round the track to go, which is ideal, because I've just looked at the time. It's 25 to six. So after this, it'll be a quick shower, change, then it's dad taxi duties time, then it's chefing time, cooking for the family, and then we're trying to sneak a crafty run in. Very small chance, but it's worth a go later on. As I keep saying, make the most of Tour of Utopia double XP. If you can sneak in a crafty run, get it done. Cheers, Christoph. Thank you for jumping in. Jumping in. Dropping into the Swift Run channel. Christoph's going off for his dinner now. He'll see us all next time. Cheers, Heather. Heather says thanks for the company, everyone. Thanks for streaming, Clive. Much appreciated, as always. Have a good evening, Heather. Thanks, Clive. See you tomorrow. Bye, gang, says Tina Beard. Yes, thank you all for joining us on the Swift Run channel tonight. It's always good to have your company. Nice to chat. Well done to everyone in game. Don't forget, get that double XP whilst you can. Swift Run Channel will be back tomorrow at 11.35 a.m. UK time to film my run 500 with Noble Pro, hosted by Stephen Cousins. Join in for that, don't forget. Lots of XP in that event if the bug is still kicking around. I will be there tomorrow, so go get that XP for me. You have unlocked the Tour of Watopia 2023 cap. Your cap game is in your garage. Oh. Hot now. Fully dressed runs aren't good, are they, Tina? Anyway, it's time for a shower for me now. Dad taxi duties and then dinner time. Have a good evening, everyone. We'll see you all again. Tomorrow on the Swift Run channel, I will be back running tomorrow evening, but we'll probably be back here at 6 p.m. UK time. If not, I'll see you on Wednesday lunchtime for the MHG lunchtime run 5k. Until then, take care and stay safe, everyone. From me and Scotty the Squirrel, cheers. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>